And David Hill here on the campus of Mission Viejo High School. I'm back again. Was just here last Friday with you guys in a big, big night and Coach Johnson's last regular season home game. Big win for you guys over yeah. a rival. You guys played well. You got a lot of momentum coming into the playoffs at 10 and 0, and uh, it's exciting to see. And we'll be back here again with HSPN Sports and HSPN West to bring you all the all the highlights, sideline stuff, and whatnot. What I'm what I'm excited about, and I'm sure you're excited about it too, is a internal matchup okay the teams are matching up obviously but Elijah I'm here with Elijah Griffin is a standout corner standout wide receiver could probably play just about any position you wanted to out yes, there and, and I like the way that you go but this matchup this matchup that will take place with you and Servite's wide receiver Julius Irvin mm -hmm. it's got to be pretty exciting I know our fans will be excited to see the matchup and we want to bring them as much action as possible yeah. what for you Elijah is the biggest challenge in facing Julius I mean, the biggest challenge is just it's gonna be it's gonna be up on me to be honest. Cause uh, as long as I just follow my technique, continue to work hard, and uh, do everything right against Julius, I feel like I can win. Excellent. And and you know, I talked to Julius yesterday, yeah. and I was joking with him, uh -huh. and I caught him uh, in a in a piece of tape where he was in a classroom. He's in the choir. He sings. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I want to talk to G-Child because I'm quite sure if he can't sing, there's something wrong. <laughs> I said, now, if you had a contest between the two of you, who's going to win that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We could both sing, but I feel like I could take it. You think you got him? Yeah. Okay. Well, you haven't heard me sing yet. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't going to either. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. But that, that's, that's exciting. I think it's exciting for folks to see that. Sure. I like to take things a little bit deeper than just the game itself and, yeah. and get to know guys on a more personal level, and I appreciate you spending the time with us. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take things one step further, and I'd love for you to talk to the folks who watch us, and that includes college coaches, that mm -hmm. includes other players, that includes a lot of other people, moms and dads and what have you, uh, high school coaches. I, I want to know... In your best, uh, in your best explanation, tell folks what the recruiting process is like. What what should they expect from it? What have you gained and learned from it? Um, you don't have to be specific about any schools or anything like that. But what's it like now as you're coming down to you know you know where you're going to be? Mm -hmm. But what was it like? What what would you say are the are the are the ups downs? The up part about it is uh, now that you're starting to get the attention. It makes you feel good, but the down part is that now you got to work even harder okay. and continue to work hard. And uh, and a lot of people are going to expect a lot of things out of you, so you have to be working hard and dedicated to everything you do. Is is there anything that you'd like to add to that? I, when I talked to Julius yesterday, I asked him kind of the same question. He, he alluded to this idea of the most important part of this is performance on, yeah. on Fridays. What would you say about Because we know about the camps and we know about the combines and all that yeah. stuff. What What's your take on what has to happen on a Friday night against good competition? Uh, as long as you play good and you show what you can do on film, that's what that's what gets you to the next level. Because these 7-on-7 seven seven stuff mm -hmm. and these combines and stuff, it don't mean nothing until you get the pads on. Okay. I, I'd love to hear you say that because I think that's so important. There's so many guys out there that think, Put a T-shirt on, put some shorts on, yeah. and go at it and push guys around. That's not necessarily the answer. Yeah. And you mentioned technique. How important is that in the process as well, too? Technique is very important because if you don't have technique, you don't have anything, to be honest. And to be a good corner, you have to have good technique, and, and you have to work hard on your technique. Yeah. And no, no question that is important at the corner position. Probably no other position other than quarterback is mm -hmm. technique as important, would you say? Yeah, yes, sir. Um, lastly, um, Elijah, I want to know, there are a couple other elements I want to know and I get your perspective on this and certainly performance we talked about that you're a gifted talented young man uh, from an athletic standpoint I enjoy watching you. Mm. you you play a position I could never play I had to move inside to safety because there's no way in the world I could be out there on that island yeah. so here's the other part though I, I'd imagine it takes quite a bit of work in your work ethic mm. I'd love to have you speak to that I'd love to have you speak to the kind of character who who you are like college coaches out here you know, who are who are you and who are you individually? What kind of character do you have? Talk on those two things, your character and your work ethic. My character? Uh -huh. I mean, I'll I know you are a character. Yeah. <laughs> and that's okay, too. Yeah. Yeah, you got a yeah. personality. So my character on the field, uh, it's all focus and seriousness. And uh, I, just, I just try to focus on what I could do best and how I can make myself better. But outside of the field, I love to have fun. I love to have fun with all my family, my friends. And it's just everything that I do, I just, I'm serious on the field, but when I'm off the field, I'm not in, a, in the classroom, I'm serious too. So I just make sure, like, when to turn on the switch. 
Yeah. yeah, and you've done a nice job. I'm glad you mentioned that. You've done a nice job in the classroom as well. And Elijah, um, this is the part I really wanted to get to, a chance to get to you one-on-one, -on -one, a chance for folks to know another side of you. Yeah. And they're going to know more and more about you as you progress on to college as well, too. So it's exciting to see. want to wish you luck this Friday. You. Appreciate you spending the time. Uh, look forward to probably having this conversation maybe post-game again. Yeah, sure. uh, all things go well for Mission Viejo High School. Good luck Friday night, okay? Thank you. Appreciate you, okay? Thank you. Have a good night. You too. All right, we're closing it out here from the campus of Mission Viejo High School. I like what you look right at the camera and tell people what you're all about, Elijah. And uh, this is a one heck of a football player here and a good young man. And I, I know this because a smile tells everything. I know when he smiles, things are going well, okay? And he does that quite a bit. David Hill, once again, on the campus of Mission Viejo High School with the Elijah Griffin, okay? All right, we're good. Thank yeah. you. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. You're good at this. You've got you to be 